The biggest question I think in everyone's minds after watching the Bad Batch Season 2 trailer is probably will Commander Cody defect from the Empire? And much of the speculation has to do with this one particular line. Rumors are more and more clones have been questioning the order. Then they are traitors, like the Jedi. But while the line does suggest and hint towards the possibility that Cody is having some doubts over his loyalty to the Empire, another line in the trailer sort of throws questions at this possibility. We are not the enemy. The Empire seeks to establish peace and order throughout the galaxy. So will Cody defect from the Empire? To figure out, we would need to understand just what exactly is going on with the clones. As we know, to initiate Order 66, Palpatine had to use the inhibitor chips within the clone's brain to effectively mind control them. And in the process of doing so, wipe the individuality and personalities of each clone. Now of course, it wasn't a complete wipe as each clone still had their memories and experiences, but it definitely suppressed their ability to act freely. Certain clones with a stronger mental fortitude like Rex could hold out for a little bit longer, and clones with a certain genetic disposition could as well. They manipulated pre-existing aberrations in our DNA. My guess is we are immune to the effects of the programming, though I can't be 100% certain of it. But what's actually really interesting is that the longer a clone resists the programming of the inhibitor chips, the stronger its effects become over time, which is exactly what we saw with Wrecker. And we can also see how the chip has an effect on the personality of the clones with many of them defaulting back to their original white armor, choosing to get rid of their signature and individual style and color that was so iconic to each clone battalion. However, as time goes on, the programming of the inhibitor chip begins to fade. The influence of the chip begins to weaken, and we've seen this in action with clones like Hauser being able to make his own decision to defect from the Empire, and in the process being able to convince several other clones. We see this again towards the end of Season 1 as well, when a clone provides Rampart a status report on the destruction of Topoka City. Status report. The cities have been destroyed, sir. All Kaminoan facilities have collapsed into the sea. Very good. You can definitely sense that the clone is having some hesitation and regret over what just happened. After all, Topoka City was considered by many clones to be their home world, something near and dear to their hearts. But it also goes to show that the absolute obedience the inhibitor enforces has also started to fade, allowing doubts to creep in which lowers the clone's willingness to follow certain orders. And this is more than likely what is happening and what Cody is referring to in the trailer. As the inhibitor weakens, more and more clones have come to question the Empire and might even start to regret their actions in killing some Jedi. Especially knowing that many of the clones had close relationships with their Jedi General, it won't be a surprise to me if we start to encounter more and more clones with a guilty conscience. Now that the inhibitor is no longer as strong as it once was, there is a very good chance that the inhibitor won't block these underlying feelings any longer. So the question now is what does Cody think? And while the trailer tries to make it ambiguous, we do see some signs that Cody might be ready to defect from the Empire. Even though Cody does have a moment where he says this. We are not the enemy. The Empire seeks to establish peace and order throughout the galaxy. I actually think that this particular scene takes place at least a few episodes before the scene where he talks to Crosshair about the clones. What is likely the case is that Cody starts off believing in the Empire just like many other clones, but as time passes by, things have started to change. And the reason for Cody's defection might have something to do with the changing policies of the Empire. If you go back to the Season 2 teaser trailer, you'll see that there is a short scene where Omega spies on Palpatine giving a speech in the Senate. But look closely at the background and you'll see a recording of the destruction of Taboka City, which when you think about it is kinda weird. Why would Palpatine show the Empire destroying the Kaminoans who have been nothing but valuable allies? What I think might be happening here is that Palpatine might be trying to provide a cover story for what actually happened on Kamino possibly deciding to accuse the Kaminoans of plotting a coup against the Empire, that they are now traitors which is why they had to destroy the entire city. With this being the reason, Palpatine could also use the opportunity to get rid of the clones and introduce the Project War Mantle, the initiative which is set on replacing the clones with stormtroopers. So now that Palpatine has painted the Kaminoans as traitors and inferred that the loyalty of the clones might be compromised, he is now able to push for the clones' replacement 
gradually getting rid of the clones in favor of a cheaper alternative and one that he can control which are stormtroopers. Because as we learned from Cody, more and more clones have begun to question the Empire, and this time period is a bit of a delicate time for Palpatine, who now having defeated most of his enemies, will have to try and consolidate his power. Which means that if the clones' loyalty are now in question, he will have no choice but to replace them. Replacing them with stormtroopers who are arguably far more indoctrinated in the Empire's propaganda. After all, an Empire still needs a military, and preferably one that is loyal to its ruler. Now keep in mind that during this particular time period, the Senate still has some considerable power. Palpatine has not yet managed to completely render it redundant, something which does occur eventually in Andor. Which is why Palpatine still needs to convince the Senate to approve the support for Project Warmantle. Hence why we get a scene with Omega and Palpatine in the Senate room. But how does this all relate to Cody? Well, if there is one thing that the clones were absolutely loyal to, it would have to be to each other. The Battle of Kamino during the Clone Wars perfectly emphasizes this point. There's only one target of interest in this sector. Kamino is the closest thing we clones have to our home. And today we fight for more than the Republic. Today we fight for all our brothers back home. Understood? Sir, sir yes, sir! sir. Even though it is Rex that is giving the speech, you can be sure that Cody will probably feel the same way. Both clones were fiercely loyal to their brothers in arms, and so the Empire's decision to replace them might not go well with Cody. And if you look at the trailer, you can see Cody standing in front of a mural, something which I theorize to be a way of remembrance for many fallen clones. And if this is indeed the case, then I don't think it's a coincidence that Cody is having this conversation with Crosshair right in front of it. My feeling is that Cody at this moment in time is probably having some doubts over the Empire as well. The Empire's decision to push the clones aside and the growing number of clones who are questioning the Empire might be enough to sway Commander Cody, but I also get the feeling that as more clones escape the grasp of the Empire, the inhibitor chips will eventually become an open secret. More and more clones will start to realize that the Empire used these chips to control their actions and come to see it as the Empire betraying them destroying their own sense of identity and choice. It wouldn't be too hard to believe that Cody upon learning about the inhibitor chip might even feel the same way. Perhaps it would even be the case that it is Rex who convinces him to defect from the Empire. Regardless of what the exact way is when Cody defects, I have a good feeling that if he does defect at all, it will be because of his clone brothers. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. I am the Lost Acolyte and I have spoken.